Hello from my name is Yellow and welcome to the league match between the Amazing Age and Caleb Hayes. So, this is an interesting matchup. This is a um, a semi-final matchup in the in the World Heavyweight Championship tournament for Exodus. So, what is going on here? Well, both these men have managed to get their way all the way into the semi-finals. The finals being next week at Night of Champions pay-per-view for the World Heavyweight Championship. So this is an interesting contest because both these men have um, managed to get this far against some pretty formidable opponents. As you've seen last week with the Amazing Age picking off King Votan in a pretty solid matchup. Um, Caleb Hayes managed to defeat Des Pearson last week too. So now these two go head-to-head -head in a semi-finals matchup. The other semi-finals match is Luki taking on Luis Alvarado and that should also be an interesting matchup so one of these men will be taking on the winner of the other match next week at Night of Champions for the World Heavyweight Championship and oh my god the Amazing Age missed with a dive there Jesus Christ he might have broke his neck but the losers of both these semi-final matchups will be involved in an Intercontinental Championship matchup also at the pay-per-view along with a third man and um that will also be interesting. So either way, these men are guaranteed title matches at Night of Champions. It all just depends on which one. So one of these men is going to be involved in a singles match for the World Heavyweight Championship. The other involved in a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. So either way, they can't feel too bad if they lose this matchup. But right now, Caleb is working down the back of the Amazing H. Now, Caleb has been... Pretty dominant since he started here in Exodus just two weeks ago. And um, this is a very different ball game than what the Amazing Age has faced in the past. He is going to be a tough opponent. He is going to hurt him. He is going to grind him down. And he is going to try and get the win as quickly as possible. The only thing that's left for the Amazing Age to do is try to survive. With the Amazing Age being the quicker man, he's got to use that speed. He's got to keep going around the ring, trying to wear Caleb his down and find a weak spot somehow. Because if he doesn't, Caleb is going to do what he's doing right now and just wear the Amazing Age down until he has nothing left and he can pick up the win. As you can see right now, Caleb is going strong on the Amazing Age. And H hasn't been able to do much in this match, honestly. He's done very little so far, as the kick to the back seems to have woke the Amazing H up right there. Going for a suplex, nope. Reversal again, and Caleb staying in control of this matchup. Amazing H is able to do very little, but there's the wheel kick taking him down. Can he finally find some offense here? Goes for a kick, manages to grab the leg. Taking him down at the legs, you know he's going to take out those legs. That is, is, that has always been the Amazing Age's game plan. Go after the legs, wear down the legs, because the legs, um, obviously, especially against a bigger man, are going to be a weakness. And uh, Age taking down those legs again, putting some pressure on the legs as uh, he tries to carry on the assault. But there's a big right hand to the face of the Amazing Age, completely knocking him out right there. He's grabbing him now, going for a DDT, taking him down head first into the mat yet again. And Caleb, as I said earlier, right back in control. This is what Caleb Hayes does, he just wears people down. The Amazing Nature needs to use his speed, he needs to try and get back into this right now. As again, going after that leg, trying to stretch it out, and he does so. Kick into the midsection there. Rolling him over now, what can he do here? Grabbing that long hair. Putting it between his legs, and he's going to drive him headfirst into the mat. My god, H. My god. And again, Caleb with the reversal arm drag, taking the Amazing H down. H really needs to be careful. He really needs to be careful. He needs to try and fight back into this, because Caleb is completely destroying him right now. Face first into the mat, and Caleb knows he's in control. He knows it. The Amazing H knows it. And, um... Caleb knows he can uh, probably end this match pretty soon. This has been a pretty short match so far and uh, the Amazing H is not looking good. He is not in good shape right now. And down he goes, my god. Twisting the body around and down goes H. 
Not looking good. H, you've got to fight back in this if you want any sort of chance right now. But um, the bigger man in control. H going after the arm there. He doesn't usually go after the arm. What is the big deal? Yeah, but there's a DDT again. See, every time they miss and H tries to make some sort of comeback. Caleb right there. Going for a roll up. But it was too close to the ropes. And the ref quickly sees that and breaks it up. There's a drop kick by H though. Floor and I'm down he goes. But what can he do to follow it up? He needs to stay on the assault. He needs to try and be quick. Hit him lower. Keep at it at the legs. But there's a big boot. And H could be knocked out. That could be the end of the match right there. But Caleb instead going up to the second rope. H. My god Caleb Hayes. What was that? I think he just injured himself right there. H seen it. He got quickly back up to his feet. I don't know what Caleb Hayes just did right there. He managed to fall outside the ring though from the second rope. That is pretty impressive stuff. As the Amazing H going after those legs again. After slamming him head first into that turnbuckle. It looks like he's going for a sharpshooter maybe. Turn him over. Down he goes. And H could tap. H can make him tap. If he taps on the outside of the ring. That isn't going to do anything. But... It's going to wear him down either way. And it looks like he did give up on the move. But that's going to wear down the legs again still. Caleb trying to grab the leg of H there. But H too far in the ring. He can't do so. Caleb just watching him from the outside. H jumps to the outside. Taking him down and out. And H is feeling it. He's hitting his head. He knows he can still do this. There is still a chance for the Amazing H to come back and get the win. And now he's getting Caleb Hayes back on the inside of the ring. Because that's where he needs them to be. He needs them on the inside of the ring. As Caleb rolls to the outside again. H going up to that top rope. Caleb jumping into the inside of the ring. H going for it. Axe handle to the back. And down goes Caleb Hayes. My god. My god. H trying to fight back into this. And he's trying to do so. But it still doesn't seem to be enough as Caleb again grabbing him, taking him down with a swinging neck breaker. And down goes the Amazing H again. So after all that punishment, and Caleb just pointing at him like, is this it? Is this all you've got? And um, that could be all the Amazing H has right now. As Caleb again. Oh, head first into the knee. The only knee with a... Uh, knee brace on it to a knee pad on it so that's extra damage straight to the head of the amazing h but h managing to fight up to his feet picking caleb up to his feet too trying to go for something but there's a right hand to the face he's grabbed him here there's a german staying with it oh my god and another one my god dragon suplex there and a third one german suplex again taking him down H could be out. H could be out. Caleb must be close to ending this one. He knows he must be close to ending it. But H managing to fight back up to his feet again. Going low. Taking out the leg. You've seen him do this to King Votan last week. And it was major damage to the legs. And he just hit it there. Straight to Caleb Hayes. Will it be enough? But no. Again fighting back into it. Missing widely. Somehow that counted as a reversal. But it didn't. As H gets slammed down onto the mat. Again. Caleb Hayes is fighting back into it. But there's a reversal by H of DDT. Vicious DDT. Head first into the mat. H really needs to fight. He needs to stay alive. He has a finisher. What can he do? He's going to get him. What is this? Wrestling. Hold by the Amazing H. Former wrestling athlete. As you can see. Into a headlock now. A cross face. Caleb Hayes does not tap though. H releases the hold. But what can he do to follow it up? He's going to turn him over. And pick him up. Is this. Going for a drop kick. Missing wildly there. Caleb managing to move out of the way. And a giant knee straight to the side of the face of the Amazing H. Floors him yet again. As Caleb back on the attack. And again, H reversal sweeping the legs. Down he goes. There's a kick. And there's the wheel kick. Taking Caleb Hayes down again. H in control. What can he do to follow this up? Picking him up to his feet now. And just is slammed down onto the knee. Ah, Backbreaker taking Caleb Hayes down. Kick into the midsection. And a drop kick. That time connects to the lower back of Caleb Hayes. Up he gets. 
Going for a drop kick and misses. And there's the big boot. Flooring the Amazing Edge again. That could have knocked him out. Boot straight to the side of the face. Going in for the pin. That could be it. Two count. And the Amazing Edge kicks out at two and nine tenths. Caleb Hayes can't believe it. Caleb Hayes cannot believe it at all. The Amazing Edge stays alive in this match. But for how much longer? Can he pick up the win? Somehow that counted as a reversal. And the Amazing Edge can't believe it. As Caleb Hayes still managing to get in a flurry of moves right here. Throwing him over his shoulder. H straight back up to its feet. What is Caleb going to do here? Spine busted down. He goes. The Amazing Edge is out of it. Caleb just signaling it's time to end this match right here. And he's going to pick the Amazing Edge up to his feet again. Up he goes. There's the reversal. Neck breaker by the Amazing Edge. And uh, H needs to uh, do something big here. Otherwise he's going to be in trouble. And it's not going to be good. As Caleb Manchin overpower the Amazing H again. Wearing him down again. There's a stomp into the midsection. And swinging him down. He goes looking straight into the face of the Amazing H as he does so. Going in for the pin. That should surely be enough. One. Two. And. No. The Amazing H kicking out again. Caleb Hayes can't believe it. What does he need to do to put the Amazing H away? He's kicked out of two finishers now. And Caleb cannot believe it. Throwing the Amazing Edge to the outside of the ring now. It looks like he's starting to get frustrated here maybe. But what can he do though? Because the Amazing Edge is not in a good way. He is hurt. He is very hurt. I, am, I would be surprised if the Amazing Edge even knows where he is. As he gets slammed hard on the mats on the outside. Caleb is going wild on the outside of the ring right now, catching him by the leg. And a giant choke slam again down onto the mats. Ref up to a count of four now. Caleb. A knee straight to the side of the head. My god, the Amazing Edge could be out of it. How if he's not already out of it? Ref now up to a count of six. Caleb though, it doesn't seem like he's too interested in the count. As he uh, continues to work away at the Amazing Edge. On the outside of the ring. Now what's he, what's he doing here? He's just staring him down and there's another one. Slamming him down. Let's look at the replay of that move. My god. All the force. All the pressure on the outside of the ring. Referee now up to a count of eight. Nine count now. Caleb Hayes throwing the Miz back on the inside of the ring. And he's not getting in. Ten count. The Miz picks up the win.